हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग सम प्रोग्राम्स रिटर्न इन सी प्रोग्राम वन स्वैप टू वेरिएबल्स यूजिंग थर्ड वेरिएबल स्वैप मींस टू इंच टू इंटरचेंज वैल्यूज ऑफ टू वेरिएबल्स इन दिस प्रोग्राम द कोड इज रिटर्न इन साइड मेन फंक्शन we are using three three variables a b and c the first value will be stored inside a and second value will be stored inside b which user will be entering these three statements are showing the swapping process first statement is c equals to a then a equals to b then b equals to c let's understand these three steps with the help of an example suppose first variable a contains value 5 second variable b contains value 6 and c is empty now so if we implement this first step c equals to a it means we have to assign a into c so we can store value of a 5 inside c so c is considered as a temporary variable which are storing value of a temporarily now we can easily assign value of b inside a so value of a will be removed and value of b will be stored inside a then we can assign value of c inside b so value of c is 5 which can be stored inside b so now value of b becomes 5 so you can easily see that previously value of a was 5 and b was 6 now currently value of a is 6 and value of b is 5 so this print if statement we can display the current value of a and b to the user so this is the complete process of swapping two variables using third variable now you must be thinking that can we do the same process without using third variable absolutely yes we can do this process without using third variable so this is the program number 2 which says swap two variables without using third variable now these three statements are used to implement this logic again we will understand this logic with the help of an example so there are only two variables first is a and second one is b a contains 5 and b contains 6 so first step is a equals to a plus b it means we have to assign a plus b into a so sum of a plus b is 11 so the current value of a becomes 11 now second step it is b equals to a minus b so current value of a is 11 and b is 6 so difference is 5 and this 5 will be stored inside b now the third and last step a equals to a minus b so a is 11 and b is 5 so the difference is 6 so 6 will be stored inside a so you can easily see that previously value of a and b was 5 and 6 respectively and now the current values of a and b are 6 and 5 respectively through this print if statement we can display the values of a and b to the user
Now, program number three is read a two-digit number and print some of its individual digits. In this program, we will receive a single number which contains two two digits from the user. Here we are using two statements which are a equals to n modulus 10 and b equals to n divided by 10. As you all know, modulus means remainder and divide means quotient value. So let's take an example. Suppose value of n is 12. So if we perform this first operation, it will produce the result n modulus 10. n is 12, 12 modulus 10 equals to 2. So the value of a will be 2. Then next step b equals to n by 10. n is 12 which will be divided by 10. So it will provide the quotient value inside b. The quotient value is 1. So value of a becomes 2 and value of b becomes 1. Now if we add both the values a plus b, the value of c becomes 3 which is the sum of 12. So through this c variable we can print the results to the user. Program number 4. This program says read a two digit number and print its reverse. So if we compare this program with the previous program, in previous program we have added two individual digits but now we have to perform reverse operation. So in this program these two statements are same as previous program. So in previous program we received value of a as 2 and value of b as 1. So if we apply these two values on this formula then the resultant value will be 21 which is the reverse of 12. So using this program we can reverse any two digit number easily and through the printf statement we can display the results to the user. Based upon these programs you can solve or you can practice these four programs. First is read a three digit number and print some of its individual digits. Second is read a three digit number and print its reverse. Third, read hours, minutes and seconds and convert them into total seconds. And fourth is read total seconds and find out number of hours, minutes and seconds. So my dear friends, uh, please practice all these programs so that you can become an efficient programmer. Thank you.